Welcome back to Guns Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Uh, if you follow my channel, you know over the today I've done a couple videos already um, that I've titled Snowmageddon 2017 with the uh, FJ Cruiser out and about. And uh, another thing I want to talk to you guys about is what I'm wearing while I'm out and about in this harsh weather. Temperatures hovering, you know, in the 20s. Supposed to get down even colder tonight into single digits. And uh, we talk about uh, protecting yourself when you're prepping and survival and things like that. And we always talk about your first line of defense against exposure is what you're wearing. And then other things like shelters, shelter building, whatever, secondary. But you always got to have a good base on of what you're wearing. That depends on the weather. If you're uh, in summer conditions, you need to protect yourself from the elements as far as sunburn especially. That's the big uh, killer uh, as far as uh, pain and problems and things like that and um, that can land you uh, in, in a bad situation. In the winter, obviously, it's the cold. Hypothermia sets in and things like that. So I've been testing a few new products that I picked up uh, over the last few weeks and wanted to give you my thoughts on them. Uh, the two items that I'm going to talk about first um, is these socks. They come in a three-pack, and I apologize. My wife, being the good housekeeper and uh, wife that she is, she threw away my packaging before I could show you guys. But I bought these at... Um, Sam's Club, and I'll annotate in the section below, or I'll just put in the section below, and I may annotate some things up here in, in the video of where I got this and the packaging and what it looks like. I also found these available on Amazon, but they're called Omni Wool, and uh, because I don't have the packaging, I can't give you 100%, but I'll give you some descriptions uh, through annotations. Um, it is uh, part merino wool and part synthetic fabrics, and they keep uh, your feet really warm and dry and so forth and uh, really good socks they're not too thick because i they're more of a hiking style thickness um not like a real thick sock real thick socks you got to have pretty good size boots uh, to be able to wear those and you kind of got to buy boots specifically for wearing those thicker socks um, i grew up with just standard wool socks um, how do these compare to regular wool socks instead of the omni wool or the blended uh, with the merino wool the merino wool is not as itchy number one it's a finer type wool, and um, but um, you know, think about wool, 100% wool. It is fireproof and a lot of different things, but this is a little different, and it's more of a performance um, enhanced wool, if you will. Um, you know, it's a, it's about half, six one half a dozen other. One thing I do like about these, they don't slop around your ankles a lot so they stay more up and they don't wear uh, when you wear, wear higher uh, boots the socks will ride down inside your boot and rub on your leg things like that these don't do that as bad because they have um, some material that allows you know elasticity to uh, keep them up which I like these have a little bit of a woolly feel you know as far as a um, a little bit of a scratchy feel but not near as bad as regular 100% wool but great socks uh, they're really economical I think there was three pair of them and I paid like $12.95 or something for them at Sam's Club all right so that's the first thing you want to keep your feet warm and dry so the second thing I'm gonna talk about really quick and then I'm going back to feet again is this here and I do have the packaging it's an Omni wool product again and it is a uh, this right here is a crew top these were sold at Sam's Club and they had these for like $13.95 and they do have the tops and the bottoms and again this right here is a um, I'll just read the packaging. It's a dual layer performance merino wool and synthetic quick drying stretch fabric warm comfortable and soft and they consider this called the base layer and they have a couple different colors. They have like a what they call a heather gray and then the black and uh, these run extremely extremely small but they're designed to be worn as a base layer and you want them tight but these do run really really small just go ahead and warn you um good thing about sam's club they're very versatile uh, as far as sending them back now if you order this online through amazon or somebody i'm sure it's available 
it may not be uh, uh, the, the returning it may not be quite as easy but anyway but it's 80% polyester 20% merino wool absorbs uh, moisture and transfers to air inner layer is 100% polyester uh, moves moisture from skin to outer layer dries quickly so what it does when you when you are say hiking or walking things like that it's like say during a bug out you're going to get some perspiration you want that to wick away from your body because if not it creates um, where your body will start getting cold with that uh, layer now I will tell you it's been really cold uh, today and I've been out and about in it sledding with my kids and stuff like that and um, I was able to wear just this along with this condor polar fleece quarter zip and one of my vests uh, that I've shown before in a video uh, about the Gray Man Tactical and I was more than comfortable and you know I didn't really have to put on a big heavy coat or anything the problem is a lot of people just want to put on you know a t-shirt a cotton t-shirt a shirt and then throw on this big heavy coat I hate that it just restricts me so bad and I want to be able to you got to have in layers everybody will tell you and you also will hear this a lot in the prepping community you'll hear it in uh, uh, military circles cotton kills and it does because it retains moisture if you ever get it wet it's just it's, it doesn't uh, insulate your body well it's just terrible so look into wool and other wool blended performance type products specifically designed for being out in the elements okay guys so check these two products out again this uh, top was like 13.95 or something so you could have uh this and you can buy the bottom and at uh, sam's club the, the top and the bottom were the same exact price so one last thing i'm going to talk about and i've already did a full review of these one time before these are the boots that i got from walmart 10 years ago this right here is a new set that i just bought uh this past year and um this was my first opportunity. I've worn them out and about, but I've, this is my first opportunity that I've had to wear them in cold, wet, snowy conditions. And no surprises, they did excellent again. The reason I bought the other pair I actually use now in my bug out uh, EDC gear in my vehicle. Uh, not really bug out, but more or less EDC carry um, that I use in my vehicle. So I, I took the old ones that were just fine, other than, uh, like I said in another video, they were just getting a kind of a moist, uh, musty smell. Wasn't stinking, but it was just kind of a musty smell, and the interior is starting to break down a little bit. So now I use them as a spare set to keep in my vehicle. These are new, and I will annotate again in the section below uh, about these boots and where to get them. You can go, go through my videos and um, look through my videos and find their full review uh, of these boots. These have been excellent, guys. The only thing I did, and I just did it today, uh, I did add a, a layer of um, snow seal on these, and I just brushed it in with a toothbrush really good all over, let it set for a few minutes, and then went in with a cloth and brushed it, you know, buffed it back out. And the reason I do that is because you're going to be in some salty conditions with the stuff they put on the road, stuff I put on my driveway, things like that. I want to protect the leather as best as I can, and having a good base layer of a, you know, it's a waxy type, uh, kind of like a waxy grease, if you will, snow seal is. It's similar to a shoe polish in a way will help uh, protect the leather and that's all I did with my other boots occasionally I would hit them with some brown wax just to kind of keep them looking halfway decent if they got scratched up a little bit but for the most part you know they're an outdoor boot they are waterproof um, they uh, did perf they perform well today my feet never got wet and so if you're looking for an inexpensive pair of boots these are here I can't uh, say any, anything bad about they've been great and this is my second pair the first pair I literally had for about 10 years before switching over and finally committing to buying another set i did switch out the uh, laces i always put 550 cord laces in my boots and i've done the same here with a contra contrasting od green so it looks pretty good anyway guys say hey to the mascot for the channel and as always appreciate you guys tuning in Pre appreciate your support of the channel and if you like our videos give us the thumbs up it's in that section down there that helps us with youtube and the way they rank us and share our content uh, within youtube itself if you would share content on social media, places like that, uh, any of your forums you participate on, Google+, whatever, that always helps. Um, also, comment in the section below. Um, share your thoughts on the videos, any products that you have similar, or if you've tried these products and you like them. Go ahead and talk about that. That also helps the way um, 
YouTube uh, shares our content and uh, ranks us within the uh, suggested videos and things. That's always helpful. Anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. As always, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll be bringing another video shortly. Have a great day, guys.